Galloway. J.K. Galloway, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Siobhan. We're jumping back into The Handmaid's Tale. Episode 4, Season 5. It's called Dear Offred. Super. Like, is June going to write a letter to her old self? And kill that character off, essentially? I don't know. Like, I don't know what Dear Offred means, but I don't, I don't like it. How's that song go? Won't you come out to play? Life, yeah. That's what you think of when you hear that? You're <laughs> offered? I just, you I think just... of the Beatles? Peace and Love? You remember what we're watching? Mm hmm. But last we left off, uh, Serena made moves and it didn't work out. At least not the way she wanted. She wasn't killed, which was an option, or even made into a handmaid. Uh, but yeah, they, they saw the value, I guess, in keeping her alive, essentially. But she's still a woman. So they're sending her back to Canada to be the face of Gilead, or at least the conduit. Whatever, she's going to talk it up. At least Shining beacon. We'll go with that. Uh, yeah, the, the, the problem is, uh, yeah, June's still there. Yeah. Also. And, uh, yeah. June, June had a welcome for her. Basically. But at the same time, I mean, Serena brought that on herself pretty hard. Yeah. Using she June's, miscalculated. Well, she used June's daughter as a right. pawn, thinking she'd get to stay in Gilead and never have to deal with June again. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, she totally miscalculated. Mm hmm. Thinking that they would protect her and that she could marry Bradley Whitford. But <laughs> right. Sorry. I mean, that wasn't a bad play. Didn't work out. Right. So now they're both in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, how's that going to work out? Is someone else going to die this year? This season? Right. Like, I, I, they can't kill off Serena. No. Because, I mean, that's... Your two main baddies are dead all of a sudden. You know. I don't know. Maybe, like... They're not going to kill June. She's the main character. I don't know. But I'm nervous. No, you can't kill Serena because she's supposed to be the... The yin to June's yang. Or, right. You know, the... Well, like, they've hinted so many times throughout the show of them working together. Or finding common ground. Right. Because they're women. Only problem is not all women care for women. Could give a shit, you know? Uh, and that's Serena. We'll see how it goes. Dear Offred. Dear Offred. <laughs> Won't you come out to play? We'll get copyright claim. Calm down. That was beautiful, though. Anyway, let's find out the ugly. Here we go. She's breathtaking. Oh, thank you. It's Nicole, right? How the hell? Do you know Osborne? So that's baby Nicole. Woo! You're so lucky you were in Gilead. No. Now you have this beautiful, precious. Hey, hey, do not touch my daughter. She's God's daughter. Back up. You get the fuck away from her. You don't deserve her, slut. Whore. What? You just said you had two kids. What the? Fuck you. Fuck you. Bite her fucking nose off. Who cares? Jesus, what the hell? How do we know that um, that you that, that she uh, get physical again? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Just <laughs> uh, take a kickboxing class or something. Sounds some like it would be really difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was the best face she's ever made. That was the best acting. <laughs> she's like, yeah, how do I not kill? The Canadian government. Keep you safe as an American citizen. She's not one. I'm not an American citizen. My allegiance is to God. Mrs. Waterford is no longer under our supervision. As of today, she's been released from ICC custody. Why did you tell her that? Serena will be in residence to represent Gilead's life ways, advocate for their values. Get the fuck out of my house. Dude. Get the fuck out of my house. Dude, not, chill. It's not not him. his fault. Don't worry, all right? We're gonna stop this. 
I'm not worried. She knows right where she is. She's thrilled. Did you really just like pull up? Oh yeah, right up like, front. Right up front? Right up front. Fuck you, bitch. Coming for you. But nope. Just let her know you're there. That's honestly all you need to do. Has Esther woken up yet? No. Serves her right. She's a, a child who was hurt and abused. I told you that. I warned you about her. Live a life of service and grace, or else you would let her rot in the colonies. <laughs> I gave you the education you needed to live a safe and meaningful life. I see you. I see who you really are. I've still got one good eye, remember? She's a teacher, Siobhan. Just like you. Your Aunt Siobhan. That's your new name. Who would oh. That be from? Oh. Who's it from? Who the fuck do you think it's from? Wow. She's gonna bring it here. I swear to fucking God, she's gonna bring it here. The only way to stop her and to stop them is to put them all in the fucking ground. What if this is who I am now? I'm just gonna hang out in here for a while. Sounds good, Mama. We can send a lovely gift basket to Germany. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Waterford. Why are you here? I'm here to spread his word and to show the people that there is a better way to live. I found 15 violations that could get this place condemned. I make a couple of calls and this place is shut down in a matter of days. I also mm. came here to tell you that my wife is going to kill you. Right? And I'm going to let it. Agnes is happy. She has fit and loving parents. You know, come to think of it, I do wonder why you never returned to Gilead to save your daughter. I mean, there were risks, of course, which your wife took. Then again, she did have Nick's support. I'm sure that gave you some small comfort knowing that. God. Stay away from my family. Or the next time I see you, I'm gonna fucking kill you myself. Commander Lawrence, I have come to believe that the handmade system must be reformed. A new protocol. Handmaids would remain under my care. Commanders and wives would visit each month. So like a brothel? You mean go to the Red Center? What are you smoking? No commander's going to buy into that. They're not interested in some quick in and out to make a baby these are pious men they need Ugh. a little kink you know that wow that's honest as fuck the handmade system it's not changing not now you need a man to put you in that place i don't see any men around here so get the fuck back where you hey, from hey. take it easy what the fuck you little fucking bitch Married? He was wearing a wedding ring. The fuck would be married to that piece of shit? Rice on a cracker. Don't. You're gonna get shot, June. I need your help with the other girls. Who knows them? and understand them in ways that I do not. I want to do things differently. I want to address any problem early with more compassion. Yeah. Okay. What a fucking time. Like, you get the point we of can your shepherd these stupid girls book? Together. I didn't do it this time. 
I'm not going to promise that I won't do it next time. I can't promise I won't either. Well, that's hot. We should fuck in this car. I just want this out to trust each other. Tell us who this is, please. We'll find out eventually. No, we won't. Not until the next episode. Praise be. Welcome to our home. I'm Alanis, Mrs. Ryan Wheeler. She's the one at the beginning of the episode. Huh? That was the woman at the beginning of the episode. I thought she was brunette. So they basically just took all the medical records. And like, oh, okay, you're for you that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, they took over the country. Yeah. And then started hunting. Yeah. Fair enough. We checked the records of all the women, but we didn't bother checking the records of any of the commanders to make right. sure that exactly. they were for them. Right, and like, if it's some kind of pandemic or whatever. Next. Exactly. And like, what's way more common? Men having low sperm counts or women not able to breed? Like, it's ridiculous. The whole, like, oh, must be women bullshit. I know there's no way. Like, I'm still shocked Serena got pregnant. Right? Oh, it's not. It wasn't. It's not Fred. Whose it's... would it be? Joel from yeah, Parenthood? Joel. You think they hooked up? Yeah. I don't know. He seems a little... You'd think he'd fight a little harder, right? Like, oh, that's my baby. You know? I don't think he realizes that it is... It's Why his. wouldn't he realize It's that? not Fred's. Fred couldn't knock off it up. That, yeah, I agree. I, I don't think, but I don't, uh, Serena's not that, she's a psychopath, so she believes her bullshit, so she wouldn't have an affair. She really thinks she's living for God, and that would be sacrilege. You know? Yeah, but Fred had already, it, that was all done. What? What was all done? What? Fred, she was done with Fred at that point. Fred was still alive mm -hmm. when she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. She was still married. Yep. She would have waited until she was assigned a new husband. No. Yes, she would. I, I don't think it was his. I think there was definitely a spark there. I think it was, I'm going to get a connection with this man here who's nice to me and isn't going to chop off my finger. And she, by a miracle, got pregnant. She was shot in the stomach. This is true. So she probably assumed she couldn't get pregnant. I'm sure she was told she couldn't get pregnant. Yeah. So. But, okay. Might be a tumor. <laughs> if you haven't considered that, it might just be cancer. Oh, no, tumor. It's a growing. She's not pregnant in the face. She's... I got so pregnant in the face. It was so ridiculous. Oh, you didn't. You oh, my God. You got... I will no, show no, no, no. you. I will bring no, 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 you the no. pictures. She, she stayed slim mm -mm. pretty much everywhere. Except for them titties. Oh my god. Oh my okay, god. I, I'm gonna go She's find... always a B cup. Her whole life. Perfect. Handful. Lovely. Awesome. And then, eight months, nine months in. Oh my god. She could choke me out with the things. E they had arms themselves. They hurt. Choke me out with they them. They hurt so yeah. much. And if you haven't had babies Ease. yet, prepare for like how dark the nipples get. That's pretty fun. It's an evolutionary thing, so the babies can see it easier. But it's weird. It's fun. Ease. Ease? Yeah, they got to ease. Oh, the, the bra size. The bra size. I thought you meant like E-A-S-E. No, no, no. Like, make ease. sure you ease. No, no, no. Like, they I do to, ease. They got to ease. Ease right up in now. Yeah, that was, that was stupid. But it was weird, because I got measured, because I needed to for something. And... It's 34, right? I've always been a 34. Mm -hmm. 34B. And they measured me at one place. I think it was Soma. And it yeah. was, they measured me at 32. 32 double 30. E. I was like, right. no, my rib cage got bigger. Like, what? Like, nope. It, it didn't. Rib cage got bigger. There was a kid hanging out in my rib cage. Yeah, I saw his fingers poking through the rib cage. It's his toes. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's horrifying. It was. But um, there was a point I was going to make and I got so lost. Oh, pregnancy in the face. No, I'm, I'm going to find 
my pictures that when I, um, cause we had school pictures mm -hmm. right, literally four days before I had Thomas. Yeah. And yeah, my face, it's, it was plump. It was plump. It so was like a so baby was, picture. So it was other parts of you. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. All of it was plump. I was shuffling. No. Your belly, your boobs, apparently your face a little bit. The rest of you stayed pretty goddamn skinny woman. And still has. You're the dream. It was pretty ridiculous. Women hate you. It was, it was. There's I'm, a reason women don't like you. I'm gonna you. find the picture. I'm gonna, we'll show it. I will find you. Would you picture. get up to 140? Maybe. No. I gained a shit ton of weight. I was up to 60 maybe. 160? 170, something like that, yeah. Yeah. There's a, most women just walk around holding that shit all the time. So women hate you. I think my right thigh is 160. Just saying, shut your face. But anyway, uh, what do we think of the episode? She didn't kill anybody. She didn't kill anybody. She's reconnected with her husband because um, they have a common enemy in sight. Mm -hmm. Right. He, we need one of those. Who should we kill together? So we can just get after it. Um, Pick an enemy so we can fuck. Um, Serena is very good at playing calm and cool and collected. But Obviously, she came up with this whole bullshit. No, I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like, it was. What was interesting was her reaction to Crazy Lady. Which one? The one at the end, the house that she's yeah, going to she, stay she in, didn't and she seem was particularly like, thrilled with that. She was very annoyed and you think that was the woman from the beginning mm -hmm. that was like that's god's baby yep might have been uh makes sense the psycho but <laughs> gross but she was very annoyed with that mm -hmm. like made her very uncomfortable Where well how did you like it if if a woman started kneeling at your belly when you were pregnant and be like oh Oh, it didn't have to be a god thing. Just be like, look at that belly, no, belly, belly, it. belly, belly. I hate it. You don't touch my fucking belly. Um, you don't let me touch your belly. Now. Sucks. It's because you'll tickle. I know. <laughs> don't tickle. But you react so quick and so violently, it's delightful. And then you get pissed Watch off this. when Watch. I hit you. Watch what happens. Fucking stop. If I even I will pour this fucking tea on you. I even threaten to do it. I will pour my fucking tea all over you. Watch what happens when I get closer. See, look at it. Look at, look at her go. This is not overreacting. This is what she do. I'm just scratching my beard. Look at my beard. Look at Why? Ow! You cracked your own wrist. She's not going to look at the camera for the rest of this video we're doing she's gonna watch my hands and if i twitch that's what happens it's a delightful existence for her she made a wise decision in marrying me do you know what's weird thank you guys for watching <laughs> comments let us know what you thought of the episode uh well, i don't even know how many there are this year it's either it's usually 10 maybe it's eight do you remember Woman, I don't care. let's talk about the show. Let's talk about the show. No, because that's how that's how you'll get me. Is you will you will let me let my guard down? I'm not gonna get you. Bullshit. I'm not going to. Bullshit. I don't want to. Pinky swear. I'm not for. Pinky swear and on your swear on your mother. I swear on my mother. I'm not going to tickle you. Pinky swear. No. Pinky swear. I want to meet that husband. Yep. Is that someone we know? Probably not. But Probably not, but maybe we've seen him, or maybe he showed right. up at any of their, like, random little galas. Of, maybe like, that prick we saw her point a gun at was her husband. Yeah. That'd be interesting. But, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, people are dumb, basically. And it makes me sad. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Cheers. I'm not going to tickle you. I don't fucking believe you. Why? Then do you trust me? Do you love me? I love you. Do you believe the words I say? Not when it comes to you tickling me. Why? No. It's my favorite thing. Mm. And you don't let me do that I anymore. I hate it. I've you mm. loved it in your 20s. Hated it. It was your favorite thing. Hated it. We got into so many fights because I'd bite or I'd kick or I'd hit and I'd hurt you. Uh -huh. And then you'd get mad at me. Don't do that.
don't tickle me. 